does the phasing or the phases of the moon affect where you fish and should it? Good morning, guys and girls. May 18, May 18, reading from a Catch a Better Life book. You need a copy of this book, go to jimmyhouston.com. If you want this personalized uh, and uh, to someone and autographs, just let us know who you want it to, and we'll be happy to do that. Father's Day is just around the corner. What a great gift than to get uh, your uh, your father a, a Catch a Better Life book. It starts every day with the word of the Lord, the scripture. It starts with a devotion built around fishing. It's got a fishing tip for every single day. Our scripture today is out of 2 Samuel 22, 21. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands. The cleanness of my hands. He's not talking about dirt, dirt. He's talking about dirt on your hands, blood on your hands, dirt on your hands. We love to take our kids and grandkids fishing. I mean, it's just like the highlight to be able to do that. I'm often asked about my best memories in fishing. Most expected answer about a particular tournament win or a certain angle of the year title. Those are cool and they're incredibly, incredibly special. But my mind immediately goes to fishing memories with my kids, fishing memories with my grandkids. I can recall once in instance with my daughter, Sherry, at about 12 or 13 years old, when she caught a huge seven pound bass. I can just remember, I can see her right now with that fish. And uh, I'd been kidding her about throwing a white spinnerbait and I was catching them on a blue and chartreuse. I said, baby, you need to change this spinnerbait. She kept saying, white's right, white's right. And then she caught her PB at that time, biggest bass she'd ever caught at that time. Yeah, that's right, white is right on that white uh, red man spinnerbait. My son, Jamie, I can remember him pushing me in a lake while filming a television show on my 40th birthday. 40th birthday, you know, it won't be too many more years, I'll have that doubled. I hope he doesn't push me in the lake again. I might not be able to get out. <laughs> Those memories are rewards from God. That's right. Those memories that we have with our kids, with our grandkids, whatever memories we might have, those memories come from God himself. God's desire, God's desire is to reward us. God's desire is to favor us. God's desire is to bless his children. That's you and me. That's you and me. That's what God wants to do. Some may disagree with me, but I believe, I believe God rewards us for the way that we live. That's right. I think if we live better lives, God heaps more blessings upon us. I believe as we do things that displeases God, he holds back some of the blessings he has set aside for us. He's already got blessings set aside for each one of us. He sets aside a mountaintop of blessing the moment we're saved. As we read in today's verse, when we honor God by doing what is right, by doing what is righteous in his eyes, he rewards he rewards. What it says right here? The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness. That's how we live. According to the cleanness of my hands. Tell you what, let's do. Let's live right with God today. Sit back and see what God does next. Okay, here's our tip for today. Always fish your best spots on major and minor phases of the moon when the fish are feeding. So when you have a major feeding period, a minor feeding period, that's when you want to fish your very best spots. That's when you want to be on your best holes. Now, you might say, well, I want to be on my very best spot all the time. Well, you'll be on your very best spot a lot of times. You're not catching any fish. You're not getting any bites. So you're going to go someplace else. Fish your next best spot or your next best spot. But anytime you watch your major and minors, you know when they're going to happen during the day. If you don't know when they're going to happen, if you don't know when they're going to happen, you pay, you pay attention. You pay attention if you don't know when they're going to happen. And you see the birds start getting more active. You start hearing the woods get more active. You start seeing little dimples on the water, shad, and bluegill and stuff get a little bit more active. You're coming into a major or a minor feeding period. That's the time you want to go to your very best spots. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, I sure do love you.